Ladies and gentlemen, we have some more matches about to get underway. On table six, it's a class nine match representing Russian Federation, Luri Nostrinov. Representing Norway, Andres Orly. Your umpire is Ben Foote from Great Britain and your assistant umpire, David Edwards from Great Britain. On table five, it's a class four match representing France, Maxime Thomas. Representing Croatia, Tomislav Spalch. The umpire is David Goulden from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Peter Higgins from Great Britain. On table two, it's a class nine match. Representing Ukraine, Vadim Kubov. Representing France, Thomas Bouvet. Your umpire is Igor Borodavchenko from Russian Federation. And assistant umpire, Milana Kremelch from Slovenia. On table one, it's a class two match. Representing France, Stefan Molliens. Representing Russian Federation, Sergei Podobny. Your umpire is Alawi Balkaith from Qatar. And the assistant umpire, Derek Sherratt from Great Britain. On table eight, it's a class nine match. Representing Finland, Essa Mietinen, representing France, Frederic Bellet. The umpire is Leonor De Mario from Brazil. The assistant umpire, Satis Atur from India. On table three, it's a class two match, representing Czech Republic, Jiri Sushinek. Representing France, Fabian Lamiro. Your umpire is Jelena Karstedt from the United States. The assistant umpire, Nagako Tamura from Japan. On table four, it's a class nine match. Representing France, Cedric Cabestani. Representing the United States of America, Tal Leibovitz. Your umpire is David Cochran from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Neil Curtis, from Great Britain. London 2012, Paralympic Games. Good afternoon and welcome to London 2012. My name's Farrell Anthony and I'm your in-ear commentator for this men's class nine preliminary round match between Vladim Kugov from the Ukraine and Thomas Bouvet from France. Both players are attacking players, um, offensive, both like to play very spinny backhands and forehands. Vadim Kubov is the world ranked number five. This is his first Paralympic Games. Thomas Bouvet is the world ranked number 11. And this is his first Paralympic Games. So what a great matchup. Both players qualifying for their first Paralympic Games. And um, Vadim Kubov is age 29. Thomas Vouve is 21. Um, what they'll do now is they'll um, just have a two-minute warm-up. Seven, it's a class four match representing People's Republic of China, Gu Xing Yuan. Representing Germany, Dietmar Koba. The umpire is Stan Clark from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Angelo Eichmanns from the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for all our players at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. Just to explain while they're doing their warm-ups, um, both these players are classed um, as classifying as nine, uh, class nine. Now, class nine means that they have mild effect, um, impairments affecting legs or a plain arm. 
to actually show severe impairment of the non-plane arm, such as an amputation above the elbow. Um, athletes with a stiff knee or restricted range of motion in the joint of the plane arm may also compete in this sports class. Uh, Valim Klumov is a left-handed attacking player. Um, top Thomas Bouvet is a right-handed attacking player. Kubov is playing in a nice um, crimson type colour red uh, with white on the shoulder. Um, playing in black shorts. And um, very attacking style on both wings. Although he's um, it's his first Olympics, he's very experienced. Um, Thomas Bouvet, on the other hand, is, is um, playing all in blue, blue shorts, blue shirts with uh, red trim. The two minutes have been called off now, and they now start. Thomas Bouvet from France to serve. And it'll be Lovell. Oh, and there we have the first sort of backhand, strong backhand from Kubov. Uh, Thomas Bouvet played a forehand to his backhand and Bouvet, uh, Kuboff just played it back down to the forehand. And it's a great start from Kuboff, winning two points against the serve, so he now serves uh, Thomas Bouvet 2-0 down. And again, Kuboff tossing the ball up as a left-hander to Bouvet's backhand. Bouvet misread the spin and put it into the net. 3 0. And then he played that ball, um, served into the middle, and Bouvet didn't know whether to play a backhand or a forehand, and he got confused between both. And Bouvet gets himself on the board. First serve, he now trails 4 1. And what a great backspin serve there from Bouvet. Kuboff misread the spin and went straight into the net. So Bouvet on the board, 4-2 down, Kuboff to serve. Great side spin, top spin, a lot of side spin and top spin on that ball. Bouvet tried to flick and it went off the end of the table. Kuboff moving really well. Um, there to his forehand to take um, a 6-2 lead. Bouvet, very slow start today, 6-2 um, down. A great backhand to across court to Kuboff's forehand and he just misread it, put it in the net. And now Kuboff leads 7-3 against Bouvet from France. Oh, what a great... Bouvet just was playing away from the table. He played like a running backhand straight down the line. He now leads... Seven, Kuboff now leads 7-4. And again, a nice pendulum side serve with side spin and top spin. Create a lot of back spin and um, top spin and side spin. The ball popped up, and Kubov played it straight down to towards Bouvet's backhand. And Kuboff acknowledging his good fortune there. Bube played a backhand and Kuboff stood it back over the net and it trickled, hit the net and just trickled over. He now leads 9-5. Oh, Bube there just had an open goal, really, what we call an open net, and he just he just missed the table completely. Kuboff five match point, game point, sorry. Kuboff there trying to put a lot of backspin on that ball and it just went into the net. 
Boubay to serve, 10-6 down. Oh, and what a great rally there. It was about a 10-shot rally. Kuboff was lobbing the ball up and Boubay was hitting it down to his forehand and eventually wins the point. He now trails 10-7. Oh, and very, two very strong forehand topspins. Cross court to Boubet's backhand. Kuboff punches the air in delight. He wins the first game 11 7. So both players now going back to their coaches. Um, Bouvet is sipping some water while his coach gives him some advice. Very expressive. Both coaches using their hands, telling their coach, their players what to do, what what they need to do to be able to get back into the uh, match. They're allowed a minute um, in terms of where they're uh, to have uh, a talk to their coaches and just to chill out and take a drink. Both players now come back to the table. Bouvet wiping his head with a white towel. They've got white towels for this tournament. Um, it will be Kuboff to serve. He He's taken the first game. And they'll be very confident now, having put a game under his belt. A great return there from Bube. Kept the ball short. Kuboff couldn't put him back and topspin there. And a back forehand reverse with backspin. And Bouvet just misread it. One all. And Bouvet taking a point with a uh, couple of forehand topspin. Bouvet is very quick, takes the ball very early. And again, Bouvet punches the air in delight. He's 3-1 um, in front now with Kuboff actually to serve. And what a great backspin push there from Bube. Created a lot of backspin and Kuboff couldn't lift the ball. So he now trails 4-1. Kuboff still serving. And there the ball just clipped the top of the net. Bube tried to play a forehand topspin. Um, just clipped the top of the net and went away a bit. So now he leads 4-2. Both players towel down. Both players are allowed to towel down every other six points. There you go, uh, Bouve tossed the ball up with a lot of top spin, but it was quite high. And Bouve, Kuboff came in. 4-3. And Bouve there keeping the ball really, really short. Kuboff tried to flick the ball with his backhand, but misread it. So he now trails 5-3. Oh, and what a great forehand top spin from Bouve there. Tossed the ball up with a lot of topspin. Kuboff tried to block the ball onto the table and it went off the end because there was that much spin on the ball. On there, Bouvet. Um, Kuboff played a topspin from the backhand side there. But Bouvet just clipped the net and acknowledges his good fortune. He now leads 7-3. And again... Bouvet tossing the ball up with back then um, lots of top spin and um, Kuboff couldn't handle the spin and now trails 8-3 and again Bouvet Kuboff playing to Bouvet's strength I think really because Bou he's not missed many backhands at all and he spins it up takes it very quickly it's fantastic 
So Kuboff, after taking the first, now trails Bouvet from France, 9-3. And there again, Bouvet, forehand top spin. Far too much for Kuboff. He now leads 10 3. Great serve from Kuboff there. Lots of backspin, but fast into Bouvet's forehand side. And he put the ball into the net. He now leads, Bouvet now leads 10 4. Six game points. And there it is. Bouvet puts his fist up in the air. The French crowd again going wild. Bouvet's levelled this game. It's now one game all after a comprehensive 11-4 victory in the second game. Bouvet sprinted back to his coach. It wasn't, it wasn't even a jog. He knows now he's in this game. He's back in the game. It's one all. He takes a sip of water. His coach giving him some more guidance and direction. Kuboff looks a bit stunned, to be fair. His um, coach is giving him some direction. He's had a sip of water. He's telling him what the tactic should be. Co French are very expressive when they're talking to their players, explaining as he wants it with his hands. And um, it's going to be a very intriguing match now. Both players have to take him one game all. It's one game all. They'll come back to the table with the third game. And the French coach is still telling Bouvet what he wants from him, what, what tactics to use, where to play the ball. He just slapped his hand and just said, go on the table and, and do your best. So Bouvet sprints back to the table. He's gonna take the, he's gonna take charge in the third game. It's Laval, Bouvet to serve. there again Bouvet starts this game well he didn't start it when he first started the service game but he's now 1-0 up in the third and this is a great rally and what a great rally there from Bouvet seven or eight shots both top spinning with forehands and backhands and Bouvet comes out on top he now leads 2-0. There you go, Kuboff on the board now. Played it wide to Bouvet's backhand and then played it wide to Bouvet's forehand. Just out of reach of the Frenchman. It's now 2-1. Again, Bouvet just, get, Bouvet just getting a bit anxious there. Played the ball a bit early, a bit snatchy, and now two all. Okay. And Kubov now getting a growing in confidence with his forehand. Moves really well, playing forehands all over the table. That's a brilliant rally. Bouvet playing the ball all over the place. And forehand, then backhand, and Kuboff scrambling. But it, Bouvet's just put his hand up, so I suspect there was probably a net in the middle of that rally because he acknowledges his good fortune. Great sportsmanship. It's now 3 all. Great spin there from Kuboff. Got right underneath his ball. Spun it very heavy. Now leads 4 3. There you go. Kuboff puts his right fist in the air. Acknowledges that he's playing well now. Says to Bouvet, I'm playing well too. Let the game on. And again, 
It just went away from Bube there. And Kubov again puts his fist up. And the French coach has called the timeout. And in a timeout, each player is allowed to go back to the coach for a minute. Now he's explaining to uh, Bube, he's taking a drink of water, and the French coach is explaining what he wants from him. It's a very crucial stage of the match. It's one all, but Kubov from Russia, um, Kubov from the Ukraine, sorry, leads to, to um, 6 3 in the third game. The French coach only has a minute to get um, his points across to his charge. And um, Kubov will be feeling confident now at 6 3. So the timeout finished, we're back on the game. Um, actually, Kubov's gone back to the table early, he's happy. Bouvé took the full minute, high fives his coach, but still sprints back to the table. So he's still obviously very, very into the game, he's not down at all. He believes he can win this match and he's got one serve to come. He's 6-3 down, if he can get this point he'll be well back in the game. And what a great flick there from Kubov, wide to Bouvet's backhand, wins the point, he's now 7-3 in front. Great return there from Bouvet and Kubov just took the ball off the end, tried to toss it up with a lot of top spin, but just missed the end. Now leads 7-4. A great forehand side spin, back spin, reverse serve. Came round the ball, but came underneath it as well, and Bouvet put it into the net. Uh, Kuba from the Ukraine now leads 8 4. Great return there from Bouvet, back on top spin, across wide to. Kubov's forehand and Kubov into ball and Bouvé punches the air in delight. And again Bouvé punches his left arm three or four times saying I'm still in this game. He's now 8-6 down, Kubov to serve. 8-6 up in this crucial third game. Bouvet acknowledges his good fortune, he played it wide to uh, Kubov's forehand, but clipped the neck on the way through. He now behind 8-7, Kubov leads 8-7, one serve to come. Oh, oh, and Bouvet again, twice he punches the air, he's clawed it back, he's now 8 all. He knows he's still, he's still in this game, he's now serving. And it's going to be very, very tight this game. It's eight all in the third game. Oh, and again, what he did there was fantastic. He played a forehand topspin into Kubov's backhand, and then he punched it back into the same place. And Bouvet, Bouvet is absolutely flying. And because of that, the Ukrainian coach has called the timeout. It's 9-8 to Bouvet, he's turned it round. And the Ukraine coach is not having any of that, so he's called his charge over to give his, give his player a bit of time, give him a drink, give him a timeout, because Bouvet's turned this round around now. So Bouvet's favourite to take this game, unless the Kubov from the Ukraine can actually get back into the game. He's, Kubov's actually still in this game. He's bouncing around. He knows that he's still in this game. It's very, very tight. The coach is actually giving him tips on what he should be doing in terms of his tactics. Kubov wipes his head with his towel. And goes back to um, the table first. 
very crucial point in the match, this. It's one all. Bouvet's just turned it around. He was 8-4 down in this game, and now he's 9-8 up. It's very crucial, but Bouvet's, crucially, he's got the serve. Oh. And there you go, a big yaw from Kuboff. He pulls it back, it's 9 all. Bouvet disappointed with himself, takes the towel down. As I said before, players are allowed to towel down after every six points, and we've just had 18 points. So it's 9 all, Kuboff to serve. And there again, Kuboff puts his right fist in the air, does a circle dance as well to say, yeah, I'm still in this game. He's now 10 9 up, one serve to come. Oh, but there, oh, he's served off the end, and Bouvet, with a big puff of his cheeks, he knows he's really lucky. Ten all, Bouvet to serve. Backhand side spin serve, and there it is. And the coach has got up as well. He's punching the air. He knows how important this game is. Bouvet from France is 11-10 up but it's the Ukrainian to serve, and he's bouncing around, so he still believes he's in this game. Oh, what a fantastic serve. Bouvet completely misread the side spin, top spin serve. He thought there was backspin on it, and it's gone off the side. Misread it completely, 11 all. And Kuboff got lucky there, he hit the net and Bouvet's put it off the end, but Kuboff, he's still happy, he's put his fist in the air, he's now lead 12-10 in, in this crucial third game. Oh, and there you go, a few top spins and Kuboff has nicked that game. 13-11 in the third. Bouvet comes back to his coach. He's not happy, but this is this is a very intriguing game. It could go either way still. Kuboff got the better there. He now leads 2-1. He's gone back to his coach. It's a fantastic match to watch. Both players are on form. But Kuboff takes that third game, 13-11. So both players have gone back to their coaches now. Both taking instruction. Kubov is probably the happier of the two. Bouvet is not out of this match by any means. Coach is very, very expressive, explaining everything with his hands and his fingers, making gestures about what Bouvet should be doing. And he still stood up. He knows that if Bouvet can turn this around, he's got a very good chance of winning this game. Bouvet now bouncing around, getting ready to receive service. He's still really happy. But it was such a close game, he lost it 11-13, so he knows he's still in this game. Kuboff to serve, 2-1 in front. It's the fourth game. Kuboff just wiping all the sweat and bits from the table. And the referee's come across now and she's using the cloth to wipe the table. Kuboff to serve, fourth game. Yeah. 
Kuboff starting the stronger. He's gone up 1-1-0. One, one, and again, Kuboff getting lucky there. Bouvet not so happy, walks away from the table. The right-handed player from France is now going to serve at 2-0 down in the fourth game. Great back on top spin, it clipped the neck, he acknowledged a good fortune, but I think he'll take that, he's 2-1 down now. And again, flicks it into Kuboff's backhand and shouts in delight. Puts his fist up in the air. He's not going anywhere, Bouvet. He's actually into this game. That was a great serve from Kuboff then. The backspin with side spin. And he put it into the net. Bouvet. And again, Bouvet is making sure that he pins Kuboff down to his backhand. Even though Kuboff's got a strong backhand, it's probably not as strong as his forehand. Kuboff making the mistake. Bouvet putting his fist up in the air, now three all in the fourth. And again, that great backspin, sidespin serve from Bouvet. He now leads 4-3. Oh, great backhand push from Kuboff there. It's now four all. Bouvet failing to lift the ball, get enough spin on it. Kuboff there just played a short, short shot, tried to flick it, but it went away, hit the net. Bouvet now leads 5 4. Oh, and he played an absolute fantastic backhand, just wide, just off the, the middle of the table, wide to Kuboff's forehand. Four, Bouve, uh, Kuboff failed to reach it, so Bouvet now leads 6-4. And then he just misread um, the, the, spit, the flight of the ball and served, um, didn't do a correct serve. Now Kuboff's lobbing, and, that's, and Bouvet spun it, and Kuboff's got away with that. He's away from the table. Bouvet disappointed. He's down six all. He's gone to towel down. Kuboff very mobile, quickly, backwards and forwards. He's now six all. Very crucial point in the match. And again, he spun that ball up really heavy. Bouvet getting the better of the, that point. He now leads 7-6. Kuboff to serve. And again, Bouvet sticking to that tactic, playing it wide to Kuboff's backhand. Although it's a strong shot, it's the weaker of his shots. And now Bouvet blows really heavy. 8-6 up. And again, he's got away with that. Bouvet punches the air. Very lucky. Kuboff missed the sitter, really, on his backhand side. But Bouvet from France now leads 9-6. Oh, and he's sticking to that tactic of pinning... Kuboff down the backhand, but it's just clipped the top of the net. The right idea, but Kuboff still in this game. He's now just behind by two points, 7-9. And that was a let serve there, just clipped the knock on the top of the net as it went through. And that was a great serve from Kuboff, but he's missed the forehand. What he did was he did a side spin, top spin serve. It came back to his backhand side. He moved round onto his forehand to try it, to play it down the line, and it just went away. Oh. 
and again. What a great matchup! It's 10-8. Now, now because they've called timeouts, they can't have any more timeouts. The French coach has got his hands folded. He's not happy, but um, Bouvet's still bubbly. He's, he's to serve. He's 10-8 up. Oh, and again, he's got some good fortune. He's playing the right tactics. But what he's done, he just clipped the edge on the way down to Kubov's backhand. He takes the fourth game, 11-8. Bit of relief, I suspect, as well. But it's gone to five. This game has gone to five games now. It's two games all. Everything to play for. Both players gone back to their coaches for a bit of advice. Bouvé takes the fourth game, 11-8. It's now to all with a fifth game to come. So now Bouvé taking the full instruction from his coach. His coach being very expressive, using his hands to explain what he wants. Kubov bouncing around in the corner, listening to his coach. He's just gone back to the table with his towel, just towel himself down. Bouvé now joins him. Both go back to the table. This is it now, the fifth game. Both players on top form. But it's a great game of table tennis. Both players ready for the fifth game. Bouvet to serve. And there we have it. He's put it down his backhand, but it then played wide to Kubov's forehand. Furo Kubov said thank you very much and played it down the line. And there you go, Kubov's backhand working. He's taken an early 2-0 lead in the fifth game. He's now going to serve. And that's a great shot from Bouvé. Backhand wide to Kubov's forehand. You can hear the French crowd screaming in the background. They're really up for this game. And there's a nice rally going on here. Bouvé smashing, but it's Kubov who comes out on top. It was about a 10-shot rally. Kubov away from the table, lobbing the ball. Bouvé putting the ball back with spin. But Kube, Kubov retrieving and now leads 3-1. Bouvé to serve, 3-1 down. And again, another great rally. And Bouvé punches the air and kicks the ball to the back of the court to give himself some more time. That's what a lot of players do when they don't have a timeout. They'll kick the ball to the back of the court, and it's fantastic. Oh, and Bouvet again, he's just, he's been invigorated. He's bouncing around, he's playing top spins really wide, played it into Kubov's forehand, backhand side. Kubov tried to play it down the line, but just missed. And now Bouvet takes a timeout. It's three all in this game. It's two all in games completely. It's really tight. And if you can hear, and Kubov has just played a forehand topspin down the line. And if you can hear the noise in the background, there was another French player playing 
and he's just won Ladies he's just and had a victory some more matches and the French play it, the French crowd have six. gone it's a class nine match wild representing People's Republic of China Liu Meili representing France and again Kubo nice save the umpire is Victor um, Hugo Titicala from takes Argentina takes that point five three umpire, because it's the fifth Racco game the Slovakia. players turn turn around at five so on table three it's a class four match Representing Turkey, We're now at Abdullah five, three down. Representing Chinese Taipei, Ukraine Lin Wenxin. Your umpire is Tim LePage from Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Great Margot Fraser, from also there. from Great Britain. Heavy top spin. On Kube table one, it's a class it, four match. It. Representing Republic of Korea, Choi Il-sang. Representing Italy, Salvatore Cacci. serve, five, four down. Your umpire is Avril Roberts And what a New great Zealand. serve from Bube and the French Martin crowd Zilli are getting in involved now. They've been involved in the table from four, the beginning, it's a class nine match. It's five all, representing it's Turkey. all. It Nesle could be Han anybody's Kavats. this match. Representing People's Republic of China, Liu Meng. The umpire is Leonardo Reed from Great And Bube sticking to that tactic, umpire, actually keeping Robert that Williams. ball in Kubov's backhand. He knows On that Kubov's seven, strong it's on the a class four match. But Bube is Slovakia. He's just played Peter a brilliant Mihalic. shot. Brilliant tactic. Keeping it down. Representing Egypt. Same Saleh. Your umpire is Bernhard Karau from Germany. Your assistant umpire, Karen Tong from Great Britain. And again, he's done it. Kubov is pinning, in, is pinning Kubov down in the back. And it's a great tactic. Kubov tried to spin the ball on but his backhand's not as good as his forehand and he just missed the ball on and table it's now eight, seven it's a class five. nine Kubov match down. representing russia very Federation. crucial point in the match here. olga gorskaleva representing poland malgozata jankowska the umpire is neil montfort from australia and the assistant umpire zhang yinq from people's republic of china Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for all our players at the and London again, 2012 Bube punches Paralympic the game. air. He's now gone 8-5 up. He's got three points on Kubov. It's a brilliant turnaround from the Frenchman. He now leads 8-5 with one serve to come. Backhand serve, top spin serve there. And again, and he's done it again. Kubov. He's just he's struggling so much when Bube puts his down into, into the backhand. It was like a chop block from Bube. And Kubov didn't have a clue. And it's now 9-5 to the Frenchman. Kubov to serve. And again, Bube has just won five points on the bounce. And it's fantastic. He punches the air. You can hear the French crowd in the in, in the background. He's got match point, Bouvet. Five match points. Oh, and Kubov. What he's done there, Kubov. He's actually gone. He's gone spun round onto his forehand side to play from the backhand side to play the top spin and now Bouvé with four match points and serving and, and Bouvé looks to the heavens big sigh he's just missed that ball he's only got three match points left one serve to come in this game and there it is it's like, he's gone like the Incredible Hulk. He's gone bananas. He's put both hands in it. He's got both hands and he's shaking them rapidly. And the French crowd have gone bananas. And all the crowd has gone bananas. The French people are on, on their feet. And Bouvet is running around the court. And he's so happy. He's jumping up. And his coach is lifting him up in the air. It's just unbelievable scenes. And Bouvet is still on it. It just still can't, and the French are bouncing up and down and they've got they've got and, they're, 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 and the coach is and now Bouvet is on the floor. It's unbelievable. An absolute unbelievable match.
great match, great match to watch. And Boo, Boo Bay still, and now he's crying, he's got his hands in his head. It's so, it's overcome with emotion. And he's been, the French are still bouncing up and down. It's unbelievable. And he's got his, he's still, he's still there. And he's now, he's acknowledging the, the French crowd. He's got both hands in the air. And he's, but he's still crying. It's an unbelievable match. Great, great drama. Great match. Fantastic match. Blue Bay comes out on top. 3-2. My name's Farrell Anthony. Um, they'll have to get Bouvet off the floor before they can get that next match on, but he's still there. It's fantastic. My name's Farrell Anthony. I'll be back in about 20 minutes.